What's going on there, Annette? Today we're going to talk about a very interesting subject. You're being played. You're being played by Facebook. You're being played by YouTube. You're being played by many online entities. You're being played by Amazon. You're being played by Best Buy. You're being played by virtually every one out there that has a company. You're being played. And you know why you're being played? Because you're not playing the game. The game is one of abundance. Many people are playing a limited mindset game or a scarcity mindset game. I was looking at some videos today and I was just amazed at the negative thoughts, the accusations of people being played. But see, the thing is that you're right. You are being played, but you're wrong about who's playing you. I did a post. This seems to be a thing right now about people getting their DNA results. And someone actually said that DNA is a scam. DNA is fake. Now, I used to work in a lab. I never did DNA testing, but I worked next to people who did. And I'm very familiar with the process. So DNA testing that has liberated men from kids that weren't theirs. Uh, DNA testing that has liberated people from prison is fake. What has happened is the, the waters have become so muddied, and I'm going to explain why, that people don't know which end is up. People are out here angry, disenfranchised, upset, but they don't really know who to blame. I'm going to tell you. Blame yourself. Yes. Many of the things I see online, if people had a basic fundamental understanding of how the world worked, they wouldn't even go for it. But because people are uneducated, don't know much, everything, if it, if it doesn't fit their desired outcome, it's fake, it's a scam, it's leftist, and I'm just amazed that we, who live in the greatest country of the world, with the most wealth, with the most resources, most money, most credit, a lot of us are just plain stupid. That's the only way to say it. There's no nice way to put it. No, just stupid. And that in itself isn't bad, but many people want to flash their stupidity. They want to put it up on a Facebook post. They want to put it up in the YouTube comment. And then when they're challenged upon their lack of knowledge, they don't go, you know what? You're right. No, they double down on the stupidity. And I think part of this is on a grander conspiracy theories level that people are being dumbed down for a reason. For a long time, I did not watch television because television is programming. And I still don't really watch a lot of it, but I, will, I watched one show that was on network te television and the programming that was going on was insane. The show was only 18 minutes, but you had 12 minutes of commercials. It was literally crazy. And many people don't know what they don't know. So this is why you're being played is so easy to do because there is no reason in 2018, 19, 20, whatever you want to call it, for people to be poor. Not in these United States of America. Mm -mm. You know, if you're in Sahara, Sahara, what's the Sahara? Africa, out in the desert, there's no water, there's no factories. Okay. But you're in the United States of America. You know why you're poor? It's because you've been programmed to be poor. Let me say this again. You are poor because you have been programmed to be poor. And anything that will get you out of that programming, you attack. Because you've been programmed to self-preserve the programming. So when anyone that comes out and like this DNA test, because essentially everyone in America is a mutt. There are people from the outside who look black. But if they did a DNA test, they'd be 75% white. 
there are people who from the outside look white. If they did a DNA test, they'd be 80% black. And this is creating such a conundrum. I knew this stuff in high school. That people are flipping out because I look black. Internally, I should be black. You know there are people who are walking around with the reproductive organs of the other sex and have no clue. They have testi testicles, they have ovaries, they have the internal, they have all of that and they don't even know. Until one day they go to the doctor and they take that x-ray and it's like, whoa. But until someone said, hey, you're a little different than everyone else, their life was fine. It was fine. And if they were of, uh, I'm going to say something that's very, very controversial. Because some people get crazy. Over half of America has some type of herpes. Controversy, I know. Used to work in a lab. Herpes simplex, I forget you know, terminology, one, two, three, whatever. There's ones where you get the cold sores and there's one where you get the lesions. They do the facts people have an oral sex, they interchange. Uh, there are some people who've never had sex who have herpes. Because someone who got herpes touched them. That was it. But then they go out and get tested. Then the shame comes in. I remember we had this girl that came in. And I was in the military at the time. I've always worked community health. And she was boohooing about to lose it. I've only had sex with this one person. And she was about, she wanted to kill him and all this other stuff. And Dr. Sadair sat her down and said, look, right now you think your life is over. It's not. You want to get married. You want to have kids. You can do that. The longer you have this, the less effective it will be. It just will not create a lot of problems for you. Trust me on this. So since we're in the military and community health, so we had to bring him in and test him. Well, <laughs> He didn't have herpes. <laughs> he didn't have it, right? So we bring her back in and we bring him in and we're like, he doesn't have it. And we figured out that a good friend of hers had herpes. Uh, on the cold sore and she was helping her friend apply some makeup she touched herself she didn't wash her hands and she touched her vagina and that's how she got herpes but without the absent without the evidence train without people asking questions without shame we never would have got to that conclusion she could have went on the rest of her life thinking this dude gave her herpes when it was her girlfriend who gave her herpes someone by the way she didn't sleep with in newsflash Condoms do not prevent herpes, depending upon the location. So you, you have all of this misinformation that creates shame and judgment intentionally. Because if people knew the truth, there would be less anger, there would be less judgment. Yeah, so that's why you're being played. And a big part of why you're being played is to keep you separate and to keep you poor. Because... There's a friend of mine, he said, if more black men were like you, this world would literally fall apart. I said, not really. It's just you would have more happiness. You would have more peace. You would have more. You just have more of what you want versus what you don't want. So stop being played. Pick up some books. Educate yourself. Believe in science. I know, I know, many people like science is fake and all this other stuff. And there's no climate control, uh, climate change, and all that's just fake news. DNA is fake. Monetary policy is fake. Stock market's fake. Bitcoin's real. <laughs> so educate yourself, people. Educate yourself. And I will see you in the next video.